Hello there! Welcome back to Return to Shikamaruzu Island. I still don't know how to freaking pronounce that. <laughs> you... Could you ask? You... Could I... Could I ask you to go to an island and... Uncover the truth about my father? Yeah. Be done. <laughs> I still don't know what the hell I'm doing. And all I know is I just asked a question. I think we have to go there anyway. I will give you the ten thousand dollars. I beg you. I have to know the truth. Man, it's actually still a good amount. <laughs> That is not an easy task. Really want to help you, however. I would need to pretend that I am one of your father's relatives. However, being Asian, I don't think they would believe me. I don't think that I would be receiving received with open arms. A cousin male would be better to pretending to be a relative of your father. I think I know just the right person for the job. Allow me to introduce him to you. Oh, I would like you to do it instead. Damn it! <laughs> Looks like she trusts me only you. Why don't you agree to help her? I, you have n nothing else going on right now anyway, right? You think too much. I'm trying to think of a way to make this work. Um, perhaps I could pretend to be your wife. A lot that can work. It, it, you need answers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, right. We need. We need to get this out of the way. Um. So I pretend to be your husband. Yes, exactly. Due to my poor health, I don't often show my face in high society, so I don't think there will be any doubts if you pretend to be my husband. Fair enough. I can work with this. You... You can show me them. A photo of us together. What? Uh, what do you think? Yes, that might actually work. Not sure if they will trust me, but it would be better to, than asking a couple of strangers. Uh, yeah, that, that must be better option. I don't think. There would be any reason for them to trust me down, down then. Get down then. Uh, wait a minute. I, I, if you're going to that island, what about me? We'll be staying here, of course, as the house sitter. Ha uh, sir. Uh, you told me that your neighborhood is full of widows. Did you just the thought of being surrounded by crazy people? When I'm, I myself give me the chills. It's either that or even more crazy people. <laughs> Hey, you make it sound as if I'm a weirdo myself. I I take uh, I take back what I suggested. Maybe you should stay here with me. No. Sorry, I've already made up my mind. 
Yeah, yeah. Try and go through, through the voices. <laughs> Miss Hedaka. Hedaka. Do you mean that? However, I have one condition. Uh, make your father's death public until we go back. We get back. If that would leak out, they will not trust me. I understand. Very well, I promise. Right. It's time for me to go to Shimogo Gosu Island. Yeah, no, please. Please don't, don't, don't go. You'll be fine. Nothing bad could ever happen. You can. I'm insane enough to survive and come back alive. Holy shit, you did even more movements! I like you already! <laughs> the boring sea is extremely rough. Yes, all you see is water! A bone chilling wind is roaring, and the black sea is swirling under the clouded sea sky. Even though it is July, it feels like it's freezing. It's only the tips of my wa of the waves that hit the hull splash onto the deck. Yes, and the ocean is why I live inland. <laughs> the the Halitan Island only islands only have around ten days of clear weather. Each year, most of the time it's cloudy or storm. It's hard to believe that this is summer weather. How much worse would it be? Or would winter be? Uh, worse. <laughs> I'm not even near the ocean. I can just guess. I don't even want to think about it. Week after I visited visited the Higgins mansion, I moved from New York to Unalaska with a subtle subtle transfer. Oh, so, Alaska? Oh, I forgot. I haven't really heard of Unalaska. This ship set sail from Unalaska, and now it's on its way to Shingogotu Island. Still screwing up that name. And I will continue that. <laughs> it's about the same size as a ferry for a hundred, for a hundred of passengers. A 300 ton class luxury passenger ship. It's mid budget Buggled. Uh, this is a private ship. Hey, I tried to use my GPS. I can't get it to work. I can't seem to find any satellite ra radio waves. It must be the clouds. Freaking assholes! Crap. There's a GPS jammer or something. Like that. Like that on this ship. I guess they really don't want anyone to find out where the islands are is located. Why? <laughs> Very sus suspicious. I should be on my toes. Things will absolutely get ugly if they find out who I really am. I should also keep in mind that someone might try to uh, try to harm me. Yep. Be an interesting run, is it? Anyway, I should head back inside. I'll catch a cold if I stay out here. She came with. <laughs> you. It's much warmer inside than on deck. It's 
can't believe the, that this is summer weather here. This weather is seriously messing with my senses. Get used to it. Secondly, do you really think you can run away from me? Uh, like, some help ended up inside the ship. Well, because of the stormy weather, there must be one or two pieces of help there. Nothing strange about it. That doesn't look like kelp. I specifically see a human arm. Uh, 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 let kelp just say something. Maybe I'm just imagining things. It must be exhausted. I could have sworn that Kelp was talking. <laughs> you are not imagining things. She got on board that slick motherfucker. Hearing groans coming from the Kelp. You know what? I'm gonna keep on. I keep hearing groans coming. Yeah, Wait, I can press space. Can I use the mouse to point. It's fucking stupid, and I love it. <laughs> There's even a piano. Too bad I don't know how to play it. I can see where the exit is. Okay, so oh, alcohol. Wow, there's even a bar. There's no bartender, so I guess uh, it'll have to be a self-serve. The whole liquor bar, please go on. <laughs> I might have a drink later. Might have to throw up if I uh, if I do though. The ship is rocking back and forth. I know there's even more. Tables that I can freaking click on. Thank you. <laughs> I didn't even see any other passengers. They're probably in another lounge or in their own private cabin. All those areas look the same. Perhaps they're trying to avoid contact with each other, each of the other passengers. Finally made me let finally get the chance to actually click on her again. Big piece of kelp. I don't even think I can make a good soap base with that though. I I could uh I I kill you. Motherfucker! Ouch! Hey, stop kicking me! I knew it wasn't kelp! I saw it on you, sick bastard! I am the verge of death. I all that you, all you do is make fun of me. <laughs> That's literally part of my job. You make fun of retro, like what the hell? It doesn't kill me though, surprisingly. Good thing I'm stuck in purgatory. <laughs> Stop exaggerating, you're just seasick. Uh, come to think of it, I don't remember asking you to tag along in the first place. Didn't I tell you to stay in New York? Hey, moderate. I'm already staying. I'm doing great, but I followed you. Good! Good grief. Okay, listen up. I'm Taro Higgins, the son-in-law of Roy Higgins, and you have to pretend to be my younger sister. Got it? I might you over to any of this. Why are you using a fake name? Does it actually increase my odds of actually going through the mission? 
better or worse, my real name is too well known in New York. Someone might figure out who I am if they hear my real name. So I have to be careful. Well, sometimes you have to play it safe. <laughs> hey, I'm not uh, taking chances, alright? We have to be careful. And from here, that's time to kind of end the episode. <laughs> well, I hope all you guys have a great one more time. Great day, too, eh? Hey, guys, Nick Tennant! Well, I question what the fuck I'm gonna do with this chick following me. Well, I got Nick Tennant!